As a motion designer, organization is a key skill to be able to master that will allow you to handle a lot of projects. The ability to create templates can free up some time that you can put to better use. So in the next two and a half minutes, I'll show you a handy little trick for linking up your composition names with your text layers. We've got three text layers here, and we're going to make the name of the composition here determine what is written on each layer. First, the text needs to recognize what comp to refer to. So we'll alt click the source text and we'll write name equals, and then we'll link it up to the comp like that and put dot name semicolon. That's now changed the text layer to the entire composition name. So it now knows to refer to this comp here whenever name is typed in the expression. Second, it needs to know which part of the name to refer to. So we'll come back into it and type txt for text is equal to name, which is referring back to this composition's name, dot split, and in brackets we'll put inverted commas, underscore, and then finish it with a semicolon. This has now divided the composition name into sections depending on where your underscores are. So on this one we'll have three sections. Finally, we need to drop onto a new line and type txt and in square brackets we'll put a zero, which means the text layer will now read the first section of the composition name. In this case, it's first. And to change this, we change it to one to refer to the second and two to refer to the third. This will also work if you link it to a different composition. So I'll duplicate that and change it to fourth, fifth and sixth. And then if I just highlight this section and drag it up to this one. It should now be referring to the third section of this composition, so this should change to say six, like so. I'll just undo that and delete this layer for now and change this back to zero. We're gonna copy that expression to the other two layers and then just change the numbers to one and two. All the text layers are now linked up to the composition name, so if I were to change the comp name, then the text layers will also update. This can be so useful for building templates or updating hundreds of text layers at once. Expressions like this one are really useful when it comes to organizing your own templates. I've got another video here you'll want to see where I'll give you more tips on improving your workflow. I'll see you there.